In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to manage users and administrators in Lend Items. To manage users as well as to manage items and lend and return them, you need to be logged in as an administrator. First, go to the Users panel, either by clicking Users in the center of the page or on the main menu bar. The table automatically comes up with all the users of your library. If you are looking for a particular user, Either scan the barcode of the borrower's card, if you use them in your library, or put in the terms you'd like to search by. Now, the table shows only the users that have John in either their first or last name. With the buttons at the bottom, you can edit the user, remove the user from your library, or block lending to the user. Let's edit Andrea Johnson. We press the Edit User button, and in the dialog displayed, we make our changes. Once we are done, we press the Save button. To display the details of the user, either click the Details button on the right or click the username. On the Details panel, we can see the contact details of the user and the currently borrowed items as well as the lending history of the user. Now, how to create new users. If you are using a domain library, all members of your domain automatically have access to the application. Their accounts are created the first time they log in to lend items. However, if you want to add a user who is not a member of your domain, or you are using a personal library and want to create a new user, you need to press the New User button. In the Add User panel, you need to put in the contact details of the user. The mandatory fields are first name, last name, and email address. You can also provide a photo of the user. The photograph will be automatically resized to fit the window and lend items. Once you are done adding user details, press Save. Let's look for our new user. If the user is not a member of our domain, their status will be User Unconfirmed. An email has been sent to the email address provided for the user, and the user will need to click on the activation link to confirm their account. If you want to make a user an administrator of Lend Items, Simply click the Is Administrator checkbox for that particular user. Now, Andrea will be able to log in to Lend Items as the administrator. If you no longer want Andrea to be an administrator, simply uncheck the Is Administrator checkbox. You may also want to use the Import Export Users functionality if you have multiple users to create at once. Press the Import Export Users button and choose a file with the user list to import. It is usually easier to first export the user list and use that as a template for the user list you are importing. You need to provide first name, last name, email address, phone number, and the barcode for each user. However, still, first name, last name, and email address are the only mandatory fields. Once you have your file to import, simply select it and press Import.